Greetings everyone, this is me again, Davin the Geek. For most of my subscribers who have been subscribed to me over the time now, I don't know, a year or so, but even some who have been subscribed to me a little recently, you have heard me mention that I need a new computer because the laptop that I have now, the single core piece of crap laptop, it can't handle animation, not even Flash, Adobe Flash or games or anything like that. So I need to do an upgrade. And I decided to do that upgrade. Um, I decided to build my own system here. Um, the stuff that you see here like the video card and the motherboard will actually be upgraded pretty soon to something that is a little bit more high end. But um, yeah, I know I have subscribers who want to know about the technology that I'm using or that I plan to use. And here it is. I'm going to show you today and hope you like it. Now, you probably see this box right here and you probably think this is an old um, CPU, but actually it's not. It's an OEM um, Phenom AMD CPU. It's a quad core CPU. Um, it's an AM2 socket, and that's the bad thing for me right here because it's an AM2 socket. Um, I need an AM3, so I'm going to have to send this one back and get a a Black Edition um, 955 um, quad-core AMD processor. That's what I'm going to have to do. Um, I should get have that in uh, by two weeks, I believe. But yeah, this is going to go bye-bye, go right back to Tiger Direct because I can't use it because I have a motherboard that you, that supports DDR3 and it has a AM3 socket, so I can't use that bad boy. I wish I could, but I can't. Let me throw that to the side. And I have an AMD Radeon graphics card here. It's not the best, but it's actually is pretty good for the price that I got it at. Um, but the only downside is is that it only supports a DirectX 10 and it is a DDR2 and Like I said, this will be upgraded really soon But I have other things on my priority So that's why I have this motherboard and that's why I have this because I have other things like the CPU and the Operating system that I have to get first, you know, I could sit back and play games and you know do stuff like that and wait for my other stuff to come in and here is my DVD drive CD drive right CD I don't know why they say I don't know if you can see this but it says CD right and that's in DVD ROM and whatever it doesn't say DVD rewrite or anything but it's actually a DVD slash CD um, writing drive I don't know why they say that on the packaging because that actually confused me and I was a little bit worried at the time and then I went back and read the um, the drive again and then and it said DVD right too as well so you know that was weight off my shoulders there yeah it's just a standard DVD disk drive nothing special it's pretty affordable and here is my PS my PSU um, it's a 400 watt uh, don't worry I did all the um, I did a PSU calculation and everything that I have here um, is well in range for 400 watts but this actually will be upgraded pretty soon as well I will make sure that this is one of the top priorities to be upgraded inside my computer build um, I probably will go with a 700 watt PSU or something but I'm not sure I have to check and do a calculation again and here is a very wonderful budget board here um, it's a gigabit um, M68 motherboard. It's really affordable. It's 50 bucks, man. You can't beat that price. The only downside for me is that it only has one. Let me change this. It only has one PCI Express slot. But then again, you can get one really great video card, and that will be more than perfect for you or some people. But for me, it, it will be more than perfect if I get a really high price not high price if I get a really high end video card and here's some SATA cable stuff 
that comes that comes with DVD drive. You know, I mean DVD BIOS upgrade, whatever. Manual. This thing. And here is the motherboard. Trying to be careful here. And another thing about this motherboard is that it only has two RAM DIMMs or ports. Well, it's really DIMMs, not ports. But yeah, um, I can get, I can easily get two four gig rip jaws and put them in here, and I will be fine. I never really, I, I don't believe I will need more than eight gigs of RAM. That that's pretty fast for what I'm using it for. All I want to do is play some Steam games. Um, what else? Uh, animate, do some animations in Flash, and that's pretty much it. This is a pretty nice thing here. So yeah, let me put this back inside the. So yeah, if you're on a budget or you don't want to spend a hundred bucks or two hundred bucks on a super high-end motherboard at the moment then get this one you can sit out and play games and do whatever you want with this motherboard until you get the money if you don't have it all at once you know for a super high-end one now I can't have a computer bill without a case and here is something that I have got. It was a really great deal. Now let me dismount the camera from the tripod. This is the Cooler Master case. Um, I don't know the model number off the head. Um, but I will have them in the description. I'm not sure if you can see that. But yeah, it's a pretty big case. It's a mid-sized mid case. You can put fans right here. It has a glass. Well, not glass. It's plastic. It has a plastic viewing side. Um, let's check out the front. It has a piano finish, sort of, plastic right there. Yeah, so it's going to get fingerprints, but I don't care because I'm not taking this thing to a LAN party or anything like that. Um, you can upgrade some ports here, and here is the power switch. Pretty nice. Reset button. It's nice as well. Let's check out the back. That's the phone. I'm not answering it though. Uh, it's pretty nice. Has a really big fan right there. It, I'm happy it comes with a fan because. For the price, I mean, wow, that's that's a pretty good deal right there. Um, have screws, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, I mean, I'm sorry I can't get a really big view on this because I'm tethered to a power cord right now, and it's right there. So yeah, I can't get a really super huge angle on this right now. But if you want to stay tuned, I will indeed have an assembly video. Oh yeah, I also have 4 gigs of DDR3 RAM clocked at 1333. Uh, that should be coming in soon because their warehouse, they have a, Tiger Direct, they have a new warehouse and the RAM is at that new warehouse. And it's going to take a few more days for them to get it out because they're doing a physical inventory by hand. And they have to count all that stuff up to get it out. So I'm going to be waiting. And um, my hard drive, that's coming soon as well. Um, I should get it, um, I don't know, tomorrow or something. But um, there's some other stuff like keyboards, uh, thermal paste, the mouse and stuff. You know, standard stuff like that that's coming in tomorrow. I'll probably have a video on that if you want to see it. Um, so, yeah, stick, stay tuned for the assembly video. I will be putting this bad boy together and I will probably do some benchmarks and some FPS tests inside of video games that I have and we'll see what we get here's another little update um, I got a little bit of more stuff in 
Got the Arctic coiling thermal paste in right here. Keyboard. Right here, nothing special. Standard keyboard. Have an 80 millimeter fan, case fan right here. That's probably going to go on the side right there. Um, have a cooling heat sink, but I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use the one that's going to be coming with my new CPU. A mouse, standard mouse, nothing special. It's a little small for my hands. Um, I wish I had one that was a little bit bigger, but for right now, it will do. Um, so yeah, um, I put the PSU in the other day on the CD drive as well. Um, and and oh yeah, the memory is on its way now. They finally shipped it out. You probably heard me mention this um, yesterday, but for you it probably would be like a few minutes ago. <laughs> so yeah. And I have a hard drive on the way as well. It's a one terabyte um, Seagate Barracuda. So yeah, that's going to be on its way. And hopefully I will get this system up and running. But the only thing that's going to keep me um, waiting is the CPU. And God, I do not want to wait two weeks or so for a CPU. Uh, I want to build this right now and play some games man well oh well that's life you gotta deal with it <laughs> so I'm gonna chill out you know watch some videos whatever make some videos hope you all like this video right here I know I said the word video like eight times right now <laughs> but yeah be on the lookout for video two I will have everything by then this is video one I do not have my hard drive RAM and CPU so be on the lookout for part two and we will assemble this build here and do some testing and see what we get. See you all later. I'm out.